Hey, it's Josh here from Create Studio, and I'm excited to run you through some of the features inside our latest release. So first of all, we've added 3D rotation. So what we what you can do is basically create some really cool effects. Um, and you would have seen in the video just before, at the beginning, we had our website rotating um, in 3D space. So to do that, you can see now on the right panel with my image selected on the settings, you can see we've got X rotation. So you can rotate elements like this, which is really cool. I'll bring that down to zero. Um, you can also rotate it this way as well, Y rotation like that. So you can rotate it these ways and kind of flip it around as you like. And you can use this, you know, if you wanted to create like a 3D kind of spin on, on a coin or things like that as well. Um, and we've also got the Z rotation, which is the current one we had before. And you can also adjust the 3D perspective um, when you're adjusting the X and Y rotation. So what I'm going to do is just show you, you know, one kind of use that you can do with this 3D rotation. So if I click on the plus icon and go to position, and go to rotation and then simply first of all rotate the element where I want it to be so let's go maybe with the Y rotation let's start at about this kind of perspective and I'll just start it over at the side like this uh, maybe I'll scale it up a little bit more as well so it starts like this so it's covering quite a lot of the screen and that's my start position so now if I go and bring it over to the end of the animation and then what I want to do is rotate the Y rotation again the other way. So let's bring it back this way, something like that. And then what I could do is just adjust the position so it finishes it about here, okay, like that. And what I want to do is also adjust the duration. So let's make it about 10 seconds and just bring up this animation over here like this. And also adjust the background as well. So if I just preview this through, you can see we've got this really nice effect of our website. And you can do that with your own website as well, um, with your promotional videos, and to really kind of showcase your website in a really cool way. Um, you can also animate the background. So while the this is kind of zooming up or around, you can also have the, you know, the background image like scaling. So if I go and click on the background and go to scale, set that property like that, and maybe I'll start the scale something like. Let's say 110 something like that so it's kind of subtly it's kind of scaling or well, you could also have a video in the background as well which would be a really cool effect you can see that it's kind of moving as well and it just adds another dynamic element to your animation so when you're working with 3d space it's a little bit slower than when you actually render it when you render it will be perfect in timing and things like that um, but it's a little bit slower i guess because we've got quite an advanced system that we're working with over here um, so yeah that's how you, you use 3d elements i'm just going to delete this now just bring this out and let me show you how to create a glitch effect so i've got an image over here this currently works with images and videos so i'm just going to select this image and just drag it over here and scale it up and over on the right panel on advanced settings you'll be able to see we've got glitch effects so if i enable that and just preview this you can see we've got this continual glitch effect on our image so you can also adjust the glitch you know animating the glitch in and out um, or adding just a subtle glitch by using custom animations. So if I go to the drop down menu and click on the plus icon and select glitch effect to animate these properties, what I could do is go to advanced again over here and I want it to glitch in and then to stop glitching um, at this point over here. So what I could do is just adjust the strength and bring it back down to zero. And if I just preview this, you see we've got this really nice glitch. So Another thing to take note when you're using the glitch effect is the best uh, easing to use would be both and linear. Um, and yeah, what you could do is, you know, make it glitch in. You can adjust the strength. So if you really want it to be really glitchy, just bring it up a lot. Um, you can adjust also these settings as well. So the flow lines, um, you can adjust the RGB shift, which creates this really nice color effect. If I just bring it up so you can see um, over there that we've got this nice color, this RGB kind of color over here so if I preview this we've got this really cool glitch so you could add this to your logo and also if you can get a glitch sound effect and just add that on there as well it adds another kind of dynamic element to your glitch like that so yeah find some really cool glitch sound effects and play around with your glitch effects um, also on studio we've got new scenes inside scene builder so if I go to scenes over here you can see we've got some really nice scenes like this. Um, so you can use these to quickly uh, build out your explainer videos, just dragging and dropping them like so. So let's have a look at this. 
Uh, these just help you to make things a lot faster. So um, let's say, for example, this one. So you can just double click on there and just change up the text. Uh, whoops, if I go back over here, this one here. So you just go over here and just change up that text or the text font. You can change the background color as well. Um, and really quickly build out a really nice looking explainer video. So yeah, play around with those as well. And um, we've also got motion presets in 3D. So if you go to motion in and 3D, you can see we've got some really nice new effects over here. Like that. And you would have seen that animation on the end logo outro in the video just before. So play around with those as well. Um, and one other thing as well I want to show you in this quick video is how to use the uh, mask, inverted mask effect um, to create some motion graphics as well as how it works on images and videos. So um, let's say for example we have this background. I'm just going to scale that up and just bring it to the start. And I'm going to go grab this image here. And just scale this up. So if I go grab a circle for example, Currently the way that masks work is that if you mask an element with a image, so if I go to over here and mask that with the circle, you're about to see that this image is visible inside the circle like that. You can see it's visible now. But if I select this mask and then over here you have to see we've got inverted and it says no. If I select yes, you're about to see that it creates a hole basically in your image like that. And yeah, you can play around and create some cool effects and transitions even um, using this. So it basically reveals everything outside the circle like that using the inverted one. Um, if I go to know, you can see again, everything's visible inside the circle. So if I go through and uh, I'm just going to lock this and what I'm going to do is grab a circle like this and just position in the center. And I'm going to add a custom animation, a scale one like this. And I'm just going to bring the scale down to zero. So it scales up like this and I'll make it a bit faster as well. Let's just preview that. Okay, so we've got my circle. So all I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do is duplicate that and then I'm gonna mask this circle with the other circle. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is select the mask and go to inverted and select yes. And then I'm just gonna offset the animation over here so that um, it basically scales up normally and then it's gonna start masking it. So the other circle is gonna start appearing like this. Okay, so let's preview that. Cool. So you can see there's also, you can see a little bit of a ring there. So what you need to do is select the mask layer and make the scale just maybe one or two pixels bigger, like, like that. And you'll be able to see now it completely hides the other circle. So let's preview that. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll make it a little bit faster, bring it up a little bit more and kind of play around with that. And you can do it with other shapes as well. So. Those are some of the new updates inside Create Studio. We've also added in some bug fixes. Um, we've added in some new text to speech um, languages as well. So if we go over back to text to speech over here, we will see we've got a whole bunch of new languages um, and different voices and things like that as well. So check those out as well. Now, if you're enjoying Create Studio, we'd love it if you could leave a review on our Trustpilot page or our Facebook page. Um, underneath this video, you'll find a link to our Trustpilot page and our Facebook page as well. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope you're enjoying this. Make sure to download the latest version to see these updates inside your account. And yeah, have a great day.